Good evening and welcome back to Sports Talk ATL. I am Chase Earl, joined by Jake Gordon and Alex Ford. Good show lined up. A bunch of Braves talks. So if you're a Braves fan, you're going to love it. They come up with a big win last night over the Pirates. It was another nail biter. The starter, you know, didn't make it past four innings. It was Max Fried in this case, but that's what we're going to lead off the show with. Personally, I thought Max looked pretty good. For three innings, he was dotting 97. Uh, perfect. I mean, not perfect, but, you know, scoreless three innings. Looked like he was well on his way to another great outing. Ran into some trouble, some self-inflicted, you know, walk, hit by pitch. But overall, I mean, the Pirates didn't hit them hard at all. They got like a couple infield singles. They they racked up four runs. They were scrappy, but I thought his stuff looked good. Um, he's definitely going to have some warts coming back. He wasn't going to be perfect every time he came out after missing three months. But overall, I, I'm more looking at the stuff when it comes to Max Fried. And I thought that looked fantastic. I mean, he was throwing 96 mile per hour cutters, dotting 97 mile per hour fastballs. The all speed stuff was working. Uh, he got dinked and dunked uh, to death, and that's pretty much all I took from it from his outing. Yeah, he, it, that when that first run scored, whatever I think it was Arcia, um, double clutched. Whenever the bases were loaded, it was that weak infield single. He double, double clutched, and whoever hit it was safe at first. Like that cost him three extra runs. Like he would have been fine without that. Um, <clears throat> at least would have limited it a little bit because I think he got an out the next one and that would have been three, but you know, that's how it goes. Sometimes it's baseball. It's just the way the game goes. But other than that, you know, yeah, I thought he looked fine. I don't think there was really any cause for concern. It's not like they were like his velocity was down and they were just sending him out of the yard. So yeah, I thought it was fine. Yeah. Nobody should be freaking out. And the only people who are freaking out are the people who were, who just saw him, you know, miss 90 something days and then come back and look like the exact same guy that was out of this world. That like, not that it shouldn't have happened because it's Max Freed, but like this was bound to happen. Something like this, where he's going to slip up because he hasn't pitched in 90 days. Like he's got to get into a routine. He's and pitching every fifth day. He's got to get, you know, back into his mode where he's comfortable. I think Brace fans are just spoiled. And, you know, the only per people who were, you know, freaking out are the people who were taking his first outing is like, oh, okay, this is what we're going to get every single day, every single start for Max Freed, which was just unrealistic. Nobody should be worried. This was inevitable for him to, you know, get hit up a little bit. Um, and the post-game press conference, he was just, you know, that's when I think I'll start freaking out is when the players start showing, you know, where they're like, yeah, you know, I, I didn't do good, you know, and they're starting to show a little bit of concern. Where Max Fried in the post-game was just as calm as could be. He's like, yeah, you know, this happens. I got, you know, they kind of dinged me um, a little bit. You know, the goal is just to – um you know, peak at the right time. And that's what I've been saying, that it doesn't matter what is happening right now. Like the only thing that we need to be doing is this at the end of se September and going into October. Um, and it's clear that Max Fried is not worried at all, not just about himself. He said that about the entire starting rotation. Yeah, I mean, starting pitchers, like people act like, Offensive players are the only people. I don't know if I said this yesterday, but they. I they said it like, to Jake. That it's like, what, like pitchers aren't like allowed to slump. Players are the only people that can go through slumps. Like baseball yeah. is a game of slumps. It's a game of ups and downs, and that that's for pitchers and hitters. And right now, you're saying, you know, we're going to talk about it in the next segment. The Braves bullpen is going up. Like they're peaking. They're they're hot as hell. Um, and the Braves starting pitchers are going through one of their worst stretches we've seen in years. Like just as an entire group. And and it just, it kind of sucks that it's the entire group going through it. But I mean, do we really not think Spencer Strider is not going to bounce back? I mean, come on. He, he's got some of the nastiest stuff in baseball. Do we really have any concerns about Max Freed? I mean, he looks like the same guy. Bryce Elder, maybe there's some concern. I mean, is, is how big is regression going to hit him? Is, is he going to be a potato the rest of the season? I think there's a little concern with him. I'm still not concerned with Charlie Morton. I know people will disagree with me there, but I, I've remained firm on this. I mean, the guy's a veteran. He's still got good stuff. It's not like all of a sudden his velocity has dropped two ticks. He's still running it up to 98, 97. He still has the nastiest, literally the nastiest pitch in all of baseball, which is his curveball. Um, and he's a veteran with a ton of postseason experience. And like, like I, I don't know if we talked about it, but in the NLDS, you look at the schedule, we only need one of those guys to pitch. It's going to be Freed and Strider and four out of the five games if it goes five games. So I think you feel pretty comfortable with that. Like the goal to me is always getting out of that NLDS because once you get to those seven game series with this offense, it's going to be tough to start stop. And there you look around the league, there's no starting pitchers. I know people like think that there's a bunch of groups of starting pitchers that are just dominant. There is nothing in the entire league. Everyone has one or two guys and then they're just scrapping and putting the pieces together. Just like the Braves, you can really hold a candle to the, the Braves rotation 
to anybody's rotation. Like as far as the best in baseball, if you look at the entire body of work, I think I saw a tweet the other day where the Braves have the, the only three pitcher, the only team in the national league with three pitchers uh, with an ERA under four is the Atlanta Braves. And that doesn't even include Max free. That includes that Spencer Strider, Bryce Elder and Charlie Morton. And you add Max free to that. So I know everyone thinks that we have the worst starting pitching in the world and it's, it's looked like that for, for a month now, but the whole entire body of work, tells otherwise the same people who were this is kind of just off base and it's it would just really bother me the same people who were talking arguing Spencer Strider could potentially get a get the call in a game one series which is just ludicrous are the same people who are jumping down his throat when he blew up and were saying how this brave starting rotation uh was just terrible and everything like that it's just the same people who are like kind of chasing their own tail where it's like they're ping-bonging back and forth Every game, they're super high. Every game, they're super low. Like, take it from the Braves, where they just show up every day and they're like, you know, it's not the end of the world. We're fans. We're supposed to overreact. But it's honestly getting to a point where it's 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 overkill. It's overkill, guys. We're, we're worried about losing one game to the Pirates in October when we're up 10 games. Like, we're going to come out of the stretch okay. Like, that's the only thing that matters. Like, it's just, I, I think I it's just so many people in the South watch college football and they, they're just so used to freaking out over one game or something. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, it has good. to be if, something If this was like football, that. maybe we would have something to, to worry about. Yeah, it, that's the point. Is that, like, who cares about a game against the Pirates in, Oct- in August? Like, who cares? I did think it was funny that people did react when I said Max Fried might be the best pitcher in baseball. People were like, and then Spencer, they, oh. Spencer Str- I was like, dude, like I love Spencer, but like, dude, I'm taking Max all day. At some Everybody. point, maybe that. At some point, maybe that's a conversation. Maybe sure. next year, maybe the year after. But not right like now, that. like, if, if we had Game Seven of the World Series and both those guys are healthy, it's not a debate who's stepping on the mound for the Atlanta Braves. It's Max Free. That's what it's I was not- saying is like they were trying to debate who gets the ball in game one. It's like it's not even who. I mean, this is shouldn't even be brought up. It's Max Fried. Max Fried is the ace of this rotation. He's the best lefty on the planet, probably the best pitcher. Healthy. He's the best. I mean, in my opinion, he's, he's the best just, in the National League. Like I know he got dinked and dunked him to death, but you go look around the National League right now. I mean, Blake Snell. We're talking about Zach Allen and Blake Snell winning the side. Like one of those two guys is likely to win the side young. Max Fried's better than both those guys. So yeah. I, I that I mean he he is like it's just he yeah, is I, I'm in agreement. I, no, nothing about about what happened last night changes that. Um, no. I'm excited to see him. He's healthy. He's back. This rotation is going to figure it out. Everyone needs to chill out. We still won. We still we yeah. We're complaining from, like, from the Pirates. <laughs> but coming up after the break, we're going to talk about something that is really good for the Braves, and that's their bullpen. It's turning into one of the best in baseball. 